The graffiti mark? I think Tony Hawk is mm-hmm. an RPG. Weird. You level up? Yeah. Tony Hawk's board battlers. <laughs> I'm in. I'm Don't in. give him more ideas. <laughs> there is Man, a... He did a he did a fucking McTwist with a cup of milk. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> There's a <laughs> <laughs> There's a RPG called Dungeon Punks where you can be a guy whose weapon is a skateboard. It's That's like an sick. action RPG. And That's you can like, like find a new skateboard and improve your skateboard. Is that? I, I don't know the. De- it's not like it's like a two dollar game on your Switch. <laughs> you guys, I, I are you guys? Oh, oh I'm into that. that. <laughs> Did you guys play the uh, Scott Pilgrim beat 'em up? Yes. The one with the no. remake. Again? Yes. I'm so excited. I didn't. <laughs> it's good. It's fun. Adamana Gucci wrote the soundtrack for it. Did you know that the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack is on Spotify? Yes. Whoa. Mostly by Beck. <laughs> it is just a bunch of Beck songs <laughs> and then the songs from the movie. Yes. The as the Spotify or the Scott Pilgrim game is the first game I ever got with PlayStation Plus on PS3. Yeah. And it was the only PlayStation Plus game I've played and enjoyed. It's so good. Wow. It's great. Wow. It's so good. Um what else did you do this week? Did you eat an infant and um, No. Did you eat some paprikash? I did. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ate some paprikash. Yeah. yeah. How much paprikash? A bowl. Just one bowl? I eat it frequently, so like yeah. I don't It's not a celebration it's not, for you. Yeah. It's not usually a like you hear people they're like family gatherings only, and I'm like Every couple of months. Yeah, for why? Me. <laughs> Every couple of weeks. Every couple of weeks. I make get a 17 get, gallons. <laughs> I get a good popper cash. No, I love it. It's delicious, but I don't know. Plus, it doesn't help that I'm lactose intolerant, and it's yeah. mostly cream uh, and sour cream. So, <laughs> Yeah, I can see that being an issue. Yeah, I yeah. have to like be sparing with you it. You just sit on the toilet while you eat. Just. <laughs> and or I sing, I sing and Circle out. of Life by Elton John. <laughs> if you if you chose to <laughs> do it in my house, of shit. you could sit on the toilet, eat your popper kosh, and have a foot bath. What? You have a foot bath in your bathroom? <laughs> the toilet's right next to the bathtub. Yeah. I mean, it's Zeke kind knows. Of, you have to sit on it sideways. <laughs> he said, oh yeah, I switched to the bathroom in the sink. I was like, that's really important because like, say you have a long, stressful day, just poop sideways, have a little foot bath, relax a little. <laughs> I'm really into that, you know? Well, I might do it before I leave. I'm sorry I keep smacking my leg and it makes a... It's, fine. it's more of a hot, you know. This it's is like good foley work. This is not a professional podcast. What are you so, talking about? <clears throat> we don't. Uh, the definition of professional is someone who gets paid for a thing. Yeah, so, we have yet to get paid for anything. I get paid in bacon, y'all. We have found our first sponsor, though. I just paid you a dollar. Vera's Bakery is going to sponsor <laughs> us for one episode. You can find Vera's really Bakery fun. in West Side Market. <laughs> On West 25th. They named their hey. bakery after my cat. Do they? Wow, really? that's interesting. Like directly or like... My cat's name is Veracana. It means female ruler of demons. And <laughs> male, or, male or demons? Female ruler of demons. Female of male or demons? demons? Of male or demons? <laughs> yes. Um, female ruler of demons. And they have, and we call her Vera. And one day I walked by and I was like, when did she get a bakery? Man. <laughs> well, she's got the demon's bacon for her now. It's just, yeah. it's just like Demon that bacon? movie, that darn cat, that darn, that darn baker. I, I they, enjoyed that. They that do like to need. A movie. They do need, you know. Oh, man. That, if that wasn't making so, biscuits. If that wasn't making so bread. unsanitary, I would make. Is animal labor <clears throat> a bad thing? No, it's just, do you want fucking... As long paws as that have been cruel. in well, dirty cat fucking, litter. You gotta wash yeah, the paws. Cats before don't do each. that. They don't give a shit, dude. They do straight take- out of the litter box, making bread. All right. yeah. bread. I'm about it. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it, what, it gives my bread an extra tang. <laughs> Two of my crunch. cats walk out of the litter box, walk over to their water, stick their paws in the water, and then start drinking the water. Uh, <laughs> man. Cats are disgusting. Uh, but I do love them. They're cute as shit, though. I, I mean, I have cats. I love them, but they're cute. Uh, just gross. I think that's my week. Yeah. Uh, I think we are ready to record more songs, too. Two songs? One song? Yeah. Yeah, we got yeah. a couple. Yeah, two more, right? Nice. I think two more. Mm-hmm. It's so tight that we can just record a demo, and it sounds great in that room. First take. 
Well, maybe not the first take, but shut up. It's first take. <laughs> if Nick's on drums, I assume it's first take. It's always no. First that's take. actually the opposite of the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm well, struggling to remember my guitar parts, and I'm like, <laughs> just shrugging at everybody, and they're not paying attention. <laughs> did you, God, shut did up. you even did you even play anything on this? No, I've been over here shrugging, waiting for everybody to look at me struggling. <laughs> Sometimes it's about what you don't play, yeah. and the spaces in between. Just like that Dave Matthews song. <clears throat> the space between. No. Okay, that's it. <laughs> um, guys, let's uh, wrap it up. It's the end. Dave Matthews songs are my mouth noises. Are they really? <laughs> Your hatred for mouth noises are equivalent to my hatred for Dave Matthews. Look, well, there's really only one I'll, thing I'll in this world it. I like less than snow. And that's Dave Matthews, man. Wow. But Carter, Carter Not Buford a Dave Matthews is room. a phenomenal drummer. He is. Yeah, he's, he's so great. Good. I heard those on my headphones. Are you up there attacking other dogs? dogs? I'm just like turning That's a little a dog fucking party down. Dogs. She just pranced over. Hi, Abby. All right. Well, am I allowed uh, to pick up Henry? <laughs> um, I don't care. If he'll let you. Yes. You're so, so buff. Good morning and welcome to. Oh. How Vinny, how was your week? Yeah. <laughs> Not been a good week. Vince doesn't like talking about his weeks. I typically don't. Um, I'll talk about this week, though. It's been a rough week for me. Um, what is that? Is that you I again, think that Steve? was me. God damn it, Steve. I'm, I'm really bad at this. You need a fucking fidget spinner I need or something. I need a Faraday cage, I think. What's a Faraday a what? cage? Just to block all electrical interference. Oh, okay. Okay. Dude's buzzing. <laughs> uh, are you Electro from Spider Man? I think he's the shocker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I spocked. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> That's a real shock. <laughs> I'm a fister. Um, so. Mister. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Sunday night, I uh, got a call. Um, I got a call from my dad. He informed me that uh, that wow, well, I got real fucking quiet. I feel like I'm on the spot. Um, he informed me that my aunt was probably going to go Sunday night. Um, she's been in the hospital for about a month. Um, she had had multiple strokes beforehand and was not doing well. Uh, she wasn't really taking care of herself. Um, and so we all went up there. Well, my dad and I went up there and then her son. Um, and she was unconscious, which she had been mostly unconscious for the month that she had been in the hospital. Um, then the decision was made to take her off of life support. Um, let her go naturally. She was always like a free woman. She was always in nature and all that kind of shit. Um, so there's no way in hell she would ever want to be tied up to a fucking machine. Um, so they took her off life support and we basically waited. And Wednesday night, um, my dad and I were with her at hospice and she passed. Um, watching somebody die is... This is the first time I've ever done so, and it's awful. I True. don't recommend it. True, yeah, <laughs> it really is. If you mm -hmm. can avoid watching someone die, I would, I would do that. Um, my aunt was a big part of my life growing up. Um, she was a good woman, strong woman. She raised her four boys all by herself. So uh, it's been a rough week. I took four days off work this week. Went in yesterday, Friday, to basically just kind of do something. Um, yeah, sorry to hear it. Appreciate it. It sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's that's awful. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. yeah. So if you need hugs, I'm always. I always need hugs. Fall away. <laughs> like like that's a genuine. Like that's a serious thing. Like, I appreciate it. I'll, I'll drive out here to give you a hug. I know you would. And then I'll visit my mom. But yeah, like I'll, <laughs> I will, what will initiate as you call it. Yes. I would do that for you. Um, yeah, my dad's taking it pretty hard. Um, it was his last sibling. So 
he's the last one. Wow. And that's that's rough. Um, he's 64 years old, and he's never seen somebody die either. And Damn. Wow. So it's – and then I noticed that she was gone 10 seconds before he did. And so I had to watch his face when he realized it, and that was – That's rough. That was rough. Um, I don't know. Um, but the conversations that we had afterwards um, got me thinking, and I've been doing a lot of uh, ancestry research. So that's a positive thing that's come out of this. Um, finding, I've gone back, I think at most five generations on my dad's side. So it's interesting. To learn you, have you found anything interesting out? Um, that my grandfather's name and my great grandfather's name are family names. They would alternate every other generation. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So are you the same as your grandpa? No. My dad. My dad is the one who broke the cycle. Well. My dad's name broke the cycle because it was William and Charles. I was going to so, say, are we allowed to know the names or yes. like are these no, these are <laughs> names? No, it's uh, William, <clears throat> William Griffin and Charles Griffin. And so my father should have been William. However, when my father was born, they thought his father was somebody else. Oh. So he was initially born Michael Rhodes. So he was the secret. Interesting. He's had two names. And somehow, I don't, they didn't know what the fuck was going on with things in the 50s. He's had two social security numbers. <laughs> oh. Um, hey, um, I might be according in the market to him, for that extra one. <laughs> according to if he him, wants to get rid of it. He's never used the other one. Oh, fuck, How does that saying. even happen? They changed his name really early and for some fucking reason changed his, you know. United States identification number. Hey, excuse Hi. me. That is not what social security oh, numbers sorry. are His social for. Social security number. They are not meant as a form of identification. I just want to. They're just used that way. It's a byproduct. Um, is your credit score bad? <laughs> <laughs> Mine? Yeah. It's okay. I have some advice for you involving that second social security number. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's be real here. If my father ever did use it, he's probably destroyed it as well. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's, it's let's be real here. But uh, I don't know. We uh, sir, we've noticed your two credit scores add up to three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> um, I never realized where my great grandparents were. So my great grandma or my Great Grandma Griffin, um, which is just an Avon. So I took my dad out there yesterday, and we went to Westside Market. I went driving through the Metro Parks. Um, it was a good time. It was a good day with my dad. Very nice. Yeah. I found out where his mother is buried out in Lima, which is not actually buried, but the whole thing. Um, so, you know, some goods come from this. Oh, and my aunt had a cat. They don't know what to do with the cat, so I think Deidre and I are getting a cat. Yeah! Oh, snap! So there are good things that are coming out of this. Vince has always wanted a cat. Yeah. What are you gonna, convinced her. Are you going to change its name? No. What's his name? I hope it's Crab Apple. <laughs> <laughs> it's Grey Goose. <laughs> <laughs> you would have I, alcohol I didn't cat. didn't expect that. I'm not thrilled on the name Grey Goose. However... I can't, I can't. You can just call him Goose. It's you not could, like the cat's yeah. gonna know the difference. No. Goose, like from Top Gun. Yeah. <laughs> or like a goose. I'll just honk like my them. favorite shot. Okay. <laughs> shot a goose. I don't like vodka. Uh, I do. I definitely don't like Grey Goose. Uh, I like Kettle One. I prefer Kamchatka. Really. That's fucking gross. <laughs> Yucky. You drinking some fucking Colonial Club over here? Ooh man, now you're oh gross. The one you it's delve into whiskey, times. you jump into some Canadian club. Mm. You guys are making me fucking sick. So, Nick, how was your week? <laughs> right. Um, was it as sad as my week? <laughs> I hope not. 
No, I wouldn't say it was as sad as that. I could have spent a lot of time with my son this week, so that was a good thing. That is good. Yeah. 